Hi, JL here, and in this video, I'll be showing a tutorial on my Sprite Tile Blender add-on that helps turn sprite sheets like this into 3D models like this. So Sprite Tile is a open source project. You can get it from my itch.io page. Just um, grab the download from here and follow along with the tutorial. So the first thing I'll be showing is how to install the add-on. Just go to File and User Prof Preferences and go to Add-ons. And down here, when you go to the HIO page, you'll download the zip file. And just choose this, the zip file from the um, when you install the the add-on. So once you've installed the file, you will see. Um, the sprite tile painter add-on appear here in the preference in the preferences window just enable the add-on here and you'll see the sprite tile tab appear in the tools um, in the toolbar um, go ahead and save user settings if you intend on using sprite tile for later blender sessions and while we're in the user preferences might as well change one a setting for um if since we're gonna be doing pixel art um level textures turning turning out turning off the mip maps under system is a good idea uh, if mip maps is turned on the pixel art textures appear really blurry so turn that off for now All right so now that we have Sprite installed, I'll show you how to actually use it. So starting over with the new Blender file, the first thing we'll do is set up the material and the texture. If you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can just go to the Sprite HIO page, grab this texture off the front page and just save it. And so the first thing we'll do is um, head to the Sprite Tile tab here, and under Material under Material Setup, uh, with your making sure that you selected you've selected a mesh object. In this case, just the default cube. Press the Set Material to Shade this button, and then head over to the Textures tab on the right unlink the default texture and load up the texture that we'll be using. Now that the texture is loaded, go back to the sprite tile panel and press setup pixel texture. And that takes care of the material and the texture setup. So um, the bulk of Sprite tools are accessed under the edit mode. So let's switch over to edit mode. And first, I guess the first thing that we'll do is to just delete the vertices of the mesh material, of the mesh object, sorry, since you don't need that. Uh, before we get started with Sprite Tile, uh, um, a word of warning it's a alpha software so if it ever bugs out on you during this, this tutorial uh, just use the sprite tile utilities here and press reset sprite tile and that should take care of you you can just continue using sprite tile as normal um, <clears throat> so an important uh, concept with using sprite tile is the Blender 3D cursor, which is this little gizmo here, and the axis that we're viewing the um, the V part under. So first things first, let's reset the 3D cursor to the center of the of the scene. So press Shift S and cursor to center. And then let's open up the Sprite Tile Tile Paint Mode, which you can do by pressing the 
build button over, over here. So you can see that these, this style selection UI has popped up on the lower right corner of the viewport. You can enlarge this or make it smaller using the mouse wheel. So first thing we'll do is select the grass style here and change the orientation of the viewport so it's, lo it's looking down the ground and start painting the grass. So you can notice that the grass tile is being created around the 3D cursor. And that it's being painted only on this axis. If we change the viewport angle so it's looking towards the Y axis and change the selection to these, this wall tile here. You can see that it now paints on the direction we're looking at, the Y axis, and it's centered around this the 3D cursor. One more thing, we'll turn the axis here. We'll change the view, the viewing angle. So it's facing the last axis that we haven't painted on yet. And then um, we'll paint another wall here. Since the 3D cursor is such an important part of the sprite tile workflow, uh, Holding down the S key will move the 3D cursor to the nearest vertex, to the vertex nearest to the mouse, as you can see here. And pressing the W key will center the viewport um, camera around the wherever the cursor is. So this is the basics of how to use Sprite Tile. Now that we have the basics out of the way, we can start um, doing something a bit more advanced. So with this wall, we can see that it's really repetitive. And one thing that we can do to break up repetition is to use a smaller tile, uh, smaller grid size. And for that, we use tile grids. So to create a new tile grid, press the plus button up here and change the grid size to 16 by 16. We'll notice that the grid size in the tile selection UI has changed. And if we Oh, why am I ripping faces? Oh, All right. Just delete some of the faces here. And you can start painting with a smaller grid size on this wall. And then you can just like start throwing different tiles in the wall, just to break up the repetition. And you can, and besides the smaller grid size, you can also flip the tiles around using this interface up here. or rotate it using these buttons here. And you can also use a keyboard shortcut for that. Um, pressing one and two will rotate the, will rotate the tile left and right. And pressing three will turn on the flip, flipping on the X axis and four will toggle flipping on the Y axis. Um, 
you're not just limited to select um, selecting tiles using the tile selection UI. If you hold down Alt the Alt key, you can also pick the tile that you're painting with using the tiles in the scene. So let's say this is not the correct position for this style, for this wall. Normally I will So we'll want to move all of these faces. But if we try to move the face, you'll see that it's connected to the to the other vertices. This is because sprite tile automatically merges the vertices. You can turn off this setting by toggling this button on, off, off or on. Um, but for for workflow purposes, I found that it's better to have the auto merge on and just rip the faces by pressing Y and before moving. Uh, another thing, another thing that you might notice is when I move when the when I'm moving um, mesh elements with the tile <coughs> with tile painting mode on um, the objects will, the objects will actually just move on the axis that we're facing and that the vertices are being snapped to pixel um, to the pixel grid so you can see up in the top left corner um, it gives a readout of what of how much um, pixel movement there is and since we don't really want I don't want to move it on this axis I'll just face it, this other axis and move it there so this gives you a lot more precision when moving your objects around they'll stick to the to the pixel uh, positions that uh, on the grids So you can do more than just um, paint on, uh, more than just build using the face mode, the build mode. You can also use other other blender tools to build the mesh and then paint it using the paint mode. So let's do that for now. Uh, let's go to the edge mode and select the edges on this on the ground here and extrude that on Z axis. So you can see that the UV, the UV isn't quite right on the, on this, uh, on these face, on these extruded faces. But and then we'll also do the same on this edge. Extrude Z and move it on Y. So now these these phases are not on the pixel grid anymore. But even though they've been created outside of um, outside of sprite tiles build tools, if you go to the paint mode, you can start painting. And we'll have to switch over to the thirty-two by thirty-two tile grid. Uh, you can also just change tile grids by move uh, having your mouse over the tile section UI holding control and using the mouse wheel up and down so let's select the where the grass meets the ground and paint on the, these on these faces as you can see that's not really what I want what I want to do is so one of the the, the paint um, painting mode has a lot more options one of the one of the options is the UV align. So if you uh, the, currently it's set to align um, the UV in the center, and if we set the UV align to the top, and it's not it's not really visible since stretch X and Y are on. Stretch Y means it'll stretch the 
the it will keep the selected tile stretched inside the inside the geometry of the face that we're painting on. So we turn off stretch stretch Y and have the UV align up and up at, uh, at the top. This is the result that you can get with um, Sprite Tiles Paint Mode. And again, you can do the same thing here. And it gives us a really easy UV mapping without having to go to the UV map editor. Another thing that we can do is use the use of Blender's other creation tools. So we'll switch back to the create tab here and create a cylinder and just modify it so it's a bit easier to work with. Six, six vertices in this cylinder, it's smaller, cap fill type can be an end gone, and let's change the, the rotation. So um, one advantage of using uh, the sprite tile paint mode is that you don't need to keep the meshes aligned on the xyz axis this rotation is not refusing to work with me here well let's, re let's rotate it here then right so i'll just rotate the Cylinder off the cardinal axis, 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 axis. So anyway, so now we have this cylinder that's created off axis using Blender's um, cylinder mesh creation tool. If you go back to the sprite tile tab, we can and open paint mode. Uh, another th thing that we should note is. If you press um, Shift Control Spacebar, it will open up the the tile painting mode, and pressing Escape will close tile painting mode. So now you can try painting. Let's go to the smaller sixteen by sixteen uh, tile grid, and I want to paint this so this pipe looking texture onto this onto this cylinder. You can see that sometimes that the UV map isn't really aligning properly. Uh, to fix that, paint mode has a has something called hinting. So if we turn on hinting and set the alignment to center, uh, hinting mode, what hinting mode does is it takes the current the currently selected edge. Oops. Sometimes your selection might break down while you're in, um, might not get accepted when you're in uh, tile painting mode. So just ex exit tile paint mode and go back in and you'll be able to select the, to do selections properly again. So anyway, back to what I was talking about, um, the hinting toggle in paint mode. So turning on hinting toggle me, um, will tell sprite tile that the currently selected edge is the horizontal axis that you want the paint the the tile to be aligned with so for example i've selected this long the this edge on the long side of the cylinder and it will sprite tile will now align the pipe texture along that uh, along that edge So once again, I want this to turn. I'll turn on stretch X and Y for this for painting this face on. Because since I want the pipe to stretch out across the the pipe texture to stretch out across the entire face, 
And as you can see, this, this makes UV mapping um, low poly things like this really quick and easy. So that's it for the basics of how to use the sprite tile uh, blender add-on. Just gra grab it off the HIO page. This is a open source project. Uh, it's completely free, but if you'd like to give some something to help support the project, it'll be uh, highly appreciated. It'll give me a bit more time to focus on improving Sprite There's still a few things that I would like to uh, improve on. So thanks for staying with me in this um, tutorial for Sprite L and I hope you'll be able to make something really cool with uh, this add-on. So thanks for watching.